coming up on this week's episode. United Airlines moves to grow its own pilots. Also, Atlanta Technical College recertified to restart program and Skyborne graduates join Flyby Technology. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. This is a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training, from future pilots, current pilots, and to anyone interested in the aviation world. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. United Airlines announced the start of operations for its subsidiary, United Aviate Academy, as 30 students began class on December 6 at Arizona's Phoenix Goodyear Airport. The class is 80% female or people of color set to complete a rigorous year-long training program to set their careers on course that will land them in a professional aviation position. According to United, more than 7,500 applications from aspiring pilots around the country in less than six months, with nearly 75% of those applicants being women or people of color. Once students complete their course, they will join the Aviate Pilot Ecosystem at partner universities, professional flight training companies, or United Express carriers as they build their qualifications to become airline pilots for United Airlines proper. After the initial class, the academy plans on accepting anywhere from 25 to 50 fresh students each month and expects to train at least 500 annually, with a goal for at least half of those being women or people of color, in a plan echoing the company's greater hiring of at least 10,000 pilots by 2030. We have more news after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter stories in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. The National Aeronautics Space Administration released the list of its newest class of astronaut candidates, naming 10 of the newest generation to a pilot corps that hasn't seen new blood in more than four years. Their training is set to begin in January of 2022 and last for two years as they move through the five primary astronaut categories. By the end of their course, they'll have learned how to maintain, operate, and repair a number of the International Space Station systems in orbit, as well as vitally necessary skills for orbital survival. French software company Cifa Aviation saw its first large airline customer to adopt their electronic flight bag application, Cifa FAS, allowing American airline pilots to virtually review flight data on their tablet after landing. The addition of the app to the company's approved EFB ecosystem follows the move last summer to roll out issued devices to personnel throughout the company, expanding the program to ground crew, support, and passenger-facing personnel in a bid to streamline interconnectivity. Charter operator Grandview Aviation launched an improved compensation and benefits package for its flight crew ahead of a hiring blitz, boosting salaries and offering an appropriate hiring bonus. The company has seen impressive growth, becoming one of the world's largest Phenom 300 operators in the world, becoming the second most active light jet charter operator in the U.S. The outfit should be an attractive position for those pilots who seek the Phenom 300 with each of its fleet racking up an impressive 1,300 hours each month. 
Civil Air Patrol members throughout the United States and in overseas squadrons have been celebrating a commitment that began December 1, 1941, and has continued for 80 years. More than 56,000 members, youth and adults, volunteer their time and talent to perform essential emergency services, advance aerospace and STEM education, and provide youth programs that build career, enhance physical and mental fitness, and shape the leaders of tomorrow. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Atlanta Technical College will open its Aviation Maintenance Airframe Certificate Program in 2022, with applications being accepted now. The program will offer students a Technical Certificate of Credit after three semesters of coursework. With a combination of aircraft airframe maintenance theory and practical application, the class offers students looking for a reliable, in-demand career track an affordable option. The dearth of aviation maintainers has been particularly noticeable in recent years, as demand remains undiminished with flagging graduate production. The school notes that career growth in the range of 11% is expected under current conditions, with annual salaries starting around $66,000. The job pathway is an opportunity for those in the region looking to move the needle on economic mobility and serves as a reminder that the communities south of I-20 are worth our efforts and investment. The school has begun its program with assistance from Delta Airlines in the hopes of generating a proper pipeline for graduates to enter the career field easily. Managing Director for People Development and Culture Josh McDermott applauded the start of the program. We have more news after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. This is our last top story of the show. Skyborne Airline Academy celebrated the achievement of two recent ATPL UK graduates joining Flyby Technology as the online of visual sight drone operators. The students now put their training to use, supporting flight operations for an NHS trial to evaluate drug delivery for the Isle of Wight. The graduates, James Kirk and Adam Prince, have begun working on a project with APN for the Isle of Wight NHS Trust, researching the capabilities of drone technology to increase speed of delivery and access to chemotherapy drugs between Portsmouth and the Isle. If promising the route could save a good deal of time and medication wastage, especially important for intensely expensive temperamental chemo drugs. Kirk describes his new job as helpful for an aviation career, saying that, although being a drone pilot and airline pilot seem vastly different, the training I received at Skyborne has been extremely beneficial to me. In our MCC course, we learned to operate a multi-crew cockpit, which at flyby has helped me to prepare for the pilot monitoring role role and develop effective communication within the team. The work we're doing is really interesting and rewarding. I'm glad to be a part of this team making impressive steps in automation for the medical industry. That does it for our show today, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TVs. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.